Hi everybody, Martin Hazy, Lord Mayor for the City of Adelaide. Uh, great to see you and thanks for spending time. About to chat with you about the March update. There's been a lot happening, but first and foremost, we've been very busy, especially on the international relations front. Over the last 30 days, we've had delegations from Penang, which of course is our sister city in Malaysia, and we've had an outbound delegation to Qingdao. That's where I was very recently with the Premier of South Australia, Jay Weatherall, and a large contingent of 32 City of Adelaide businesses and part of a larger delegation of some 300 people. We've also had folks coming in from various countries, India, Poland, Germany, all looking at opportunities in the City of Adelaide and indeed South Australia. You may ask, why are we so focused on our international relations? Well, at a local level, at a City of Adelaide level, it's all about jobs. It's all about creating opportunities for our entrepreneurs, for our small businesses, for our real estate holders, for property development, construction, new industries, technology, health, education and so much more. You can now see why it's so important. As a capital city, we need to spend some time focusing on these matters which are transformational for not only the City of Adelaide, but for our state. But also, it's great culturally. Culturally for the City of Adelaide, we are a very multicultural city and having people coming in and out of Adelaide, not only good for tourism, but it's also good for our very wonderful multicultural outcomes around the city. We've also been very busy on the sustainability front. As you may know, the City of Adelaide has a goal to become potentially the world's first carbon neutral city. Some may ask why? Well this is really important for the City of Adelaide on a whole lot of levels, notwithstanding tourism, investment, livability. We are the fifth most livable city in the world and we've got a goal in our 2016 to 2020 plan to become the third most livable city in the world. Just think what that could do for the City of Adelaide if we were to become the third most livable city in the world. Think what that could do for tourism. Think of what that could do for technology and industry. This is fairly exciting. So Adelaide City Council has a very strong goal towards becoming the world's first carbon neutral city. What we have seen now through a lot of engagement is everybody's getting on the bus. I was very pleased to launch the uh, Adelaide Sustainability Association, which is a collaborative effort between students, faculty and staff at the University of Adelaide. Only very recently, they have now subscribed 350 members of the Adelaide Sustainability Association within two short months. That's pretty incredible. Also, the UDIA had a national conference here in Adelaide very recently. 500 people, experts in the area of urban planning, urban design, urban development, coming into Adelaide from all over Australia and some international. Sustainability of urban development was a big part of that. So looking at how we build things, looking at their energy costs, how we uh, use water, how we use power, electricity, how we lighten our footprint on the land, all these things are very, very important, of course, and it comes down to good design and clever thinking. Also, we've got a whole lot of other things. The Governor's Leadership Forum, which is an incredibly prestigious program. Also, I had the great pleasure of speaking to this year's cohort from the Governor's Leadership Program in South Australia, and we spoke about sustainability because that's something that they are very focused on, and that is today's leaders and tomorrow's leaders. So I encourage you to think, as does my council, that when it comes to sustainability, it's not only good for our environment, it's also very good for our economy. Council has also been very focused on tourism because as aforementioned, tourism achieves a lot of things, but importantly, it creates jobs in the city of Adelaide. It creates service sector jobs. We have seen a profound increase in our tourism infrastructure in recent years. More hotels, more convention facilities, more restaurants, more wine bars, more cafes, and more experiences for tourism. In fact, only recently I had Sean Keenahan, who's the chairman of the South Australian Tourism Commission, in this office talking about how we can work even closer together to improve tourism outcomes for the City of Adelaide and for the state because we are moving into a service sector driven economy and tourism is a huge part of that. So I was very pleased to launch a uh, draft of our tourism action plan recently at Adelaide Oval whereby we have engaged with all of the key tourism groups, private industry, government, NGOs, universities and others. 
who are all feeding into a plan which Adelaide City Council will launch for next financial year, which is all about defining what role we, Adelaide City Council, are going to play to help you in the tourism sector. I'd like to share with you an equally important initiative, and this is about social entrepreneurship. We hear a lot about commercial entrepreneurship, but social entrepreneurship is just as important, just as prioritised and just as innovative because there's a lot of good stuff coming out of the City of Adelaide when it comes to the good work of social entrepreneurs. I was pleased to recently launch the Social Ventures Incubator Program here in the Queen Adelaide Room at Town Hall. Now, we've got this collection of very smart, very clever and very connected people who are using their entrepreneurial skills, their innovation skills to do good for others. A really good example is Bar 9 Outreach, which is a cafe which is collaborating with other cafes and with Vinnie's here in the city of Adelaide around Whitmore Square and Light Square. What this does is it, it's a commercial venture but it's a not-for-profit because the profits are going back to the community that need it most. It's really good. We'd love to see more of this happen in Adelaide. We've seen great growth in recent years, so I reach out to all social entrepreneurs to contact Adelaide City Council to work with us because it's... Thanks everyone. There is so much going on at the moment, including a really exciting future for the Central Market Arcade and so many more things which I can share with you and I will in due time. But in the meantime, please reach out to us and connect via our Facebook, City of Adelaide, and of course via our Twitter, City of Adelaide. This is an important communication means where we can interact with you, we can hear from you, and we can keep the news flowing both ways. Great to see you. See you next month.